Hi crafty friends, it's Donna here and today we're going to combine ink blending and Copic colouring to make this sweet card. The stamp set I'm using today is called Sketchy Floral Thanks from Paper Rose. Paper Rose have two stamps in this series, one is called Thanks and one is called Hello and I'm using the Thanks today. First of all, I'm going to put the stamp into my Misty and stamp with a light colour. This is so I can get straight on with blending without waiting for the ink to dry and I won't have to worry about anything smudging. I've left the stamp in the stamp platform so that I can go back and stamp in black in exactly the same place later. If you don't have a stamp platform, you can still make this card by laying the stamp on top of the paper and just getting a general idea of where you want to blend your inks doing the blending and just stamping once with black at the end. I just like to have the image sitting there so I know exactly where to put the different colours. I'm using four different inks today, all from Paper Rose, and the colours starting at the bottom are grass, lime, lemon, and then the blue pool at the top. And I've also used a little bit of the pool colour in the bottom corner as well, just to deepen that green shade. Once I've got everything blended how I like it, I'm going to pop the panel back into my stamping platform and you'll notice if you have a look here that the piece of paper spends quite a bit of time in the wrong corner. Luckily, before I pressed down and stamped, I noticed and I moved it back up to the top corner, which is where I had it when I stamped the first time. I'm using Memento ink to do the black stamping because that ink is Copic marker friendly or whatever brand of alcohol markers you have. I have Copics so that's what I'm going to put on the bottom of the screen. You can perhaps use a matching chart if you have a different brand. Then for the colouring I'm choosing colours that are just a bit deeper or perhaps a slightly different shade to what I have on the background so that the image will both blend in with but also stand out from the ink blending.
The sentiment for the card comes from the same stamp set. And I've stamped the thanks first. And I didn't realise that I had a little piece of dirt on the stamp, and so it didn't quite stamp properly. So rather than trying to re-stamp it, I've just grabbed a black pen and I'm filling in whatever's missing. Then I've taken away the first stamp so that I can get the second one up nice and close, and I've stamped the second half of my sentiment. I'm going to cut the panel out using a stitched rectangle die, and then mount that onto a card with a little bit of foam tape, actually with a whole lot of foam tape, because I don't want it to sag in the middle. Mixing ink blending and Copic colouring is one of my favourite things to do on cards and I really like how this one turned out. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to give a thumbs up and to subscribe to see what's coming next. And I'm going to leave you with some images of the finished cards. Thanks so much for watching to the end. Please stay safe everybody and I'll see you next time.